Hello, welcome to another interesting video in our series How to set up an online store website in 15 minutes or less using a free and powerful open source e commerce software called OpenCat. In today's video, we are going to learn how to set up your store payment methods. So we go to our store backend. and then enter our login details and then open our storefront in a new tab payment methods are the payment options that you display on the checkout page for your customers to choose from in order to complete payment for their order open card by default comes with a lot of payment modules or extensions that can help you collect payment for your products so let's go to the back end and go to extensions and click on extensions. Then from the drop down, select payments. And then here we have over 50 payment uh, modules that you can use to accept payment from your storefront. Here we have a uh, Lee Pay, we have a uh, Blue Pay, we have a uh, Authorize.net. Here we have PayPal and a host of other payment extensions that you can use to collect payments from your storefront. And if you don't find the your desired payment method here, you can always go to the OpenCard Marketplace to search if you can find the payment extension that you want to use for your online store okay so here we are going to demonstrate how to set up a few of the payment methods here let's set up the bank transfer payment method first of all we click on the install button here and then click on the edit button here we need to provide instruction on how customers can send money to our bank accounts here so i can put something like this with instruction on how they can send money to my bank account okay under total optionally we can enter an amount that the other total must reach before this uh, payment method is active otherwise we will leave it empty and this payment method will be active for any amount okay so other status we can select uh, pending as the other status for this uh, payment module then geo zone select the geo zone applicable to this uh, payment method and status select enable then then sort order you enter the sort order and after you click on the save button okay another payment method that we can look at is the cash on delivery payment method it's already installed so we click on the edit button here and here we enter the checkout total that must be reached before this uh, payment method is active in the storefront so i can put um, 10,000 naira and other status pending and put the maybe south east zone and select the enable the status and enter sort order and after click on save button here okay let's set up a payment method that is linked to a payment gateway let's see if we can set up okay here yeah, let's set up the paper payments uh, standard okay let's click on the install button here and then click on the edit button beside it here you enter your paypal email okay for me paypal doesn't work in my country for accepting payment so i'll just enter a random email here choose the sandbox mode say no debug other total that must be reached before this payment method is active we leave it empty all zones enable sort order three then on the other status tab here we can select different uh, other status for different uh, payment status of the paper payment standard cancel the past completed we can select processing denied we can select uh, denied we select the expired status Failed. 
pending we select the pending status processed we select the process status refund and then uh, avoided we select the voided status okay and then after we click on the save button here okay now let's go to the storefront and see how the payment methods work okay let's go to click on our demo products and then add to cart then click on shopping cart then click on checkout and click on register a new account okay okay then after tick on the checkbox and click on continue okay here yeah. select the shipping method and select free shipping click on continue okay here we have the available payment methods for us to choose from we have the bank transfer option and the cash on delivery option the paper option didn't show up because my default currency is a uh, naira and the paper doesn't process naira so if we go up here and change the currency to us dollars okay here you will see that the paper option is now available okay so i will select the bank transfer option and click on the terms and conditions uh, checkbox and click on the continue button okay here you can see the other summary here and here we have the bank transfer instruction okay and if i click on the confirm order button here the order will be placed and i will receive it in the back end okay this is how to set up payment uh, methods for your store in our next video we are going to talk about uh, store layout and uh, modules and if you have gained any value by watching this video kindly click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you'll be the first to know whenever i drop awesome video on my channel thank you and peace